when Noreen invited me in this craziness of General Assembly, I didn't look too closely at the agenda item. And as a non-economist and someone who's very much focused on business model, I thought that what, what, what is key is to bring the micro... I think it's the phone, yeah, maybe just the phone away. Let me get the... Oh, these two. That's right. There you go. I think one of the reoccurring themes that comes through all of these uh, earlier interventions is really uh, the macro level perspective, the business model perspective is something which is not very much uh, coming in terms of the evidence base in shaping um, some of the policy discussions here, at least that's what I say at the UN. And this is what we at the Business Call to Action are very much focusing on. Um, the Business Call to Action is an uh, initiative hosted by UNDP, which is which has as its partners uh, five governments, the US government, the UK government, the Swedish government, Dutch, and also Australian government, and a number of business organizations. And what we're very much interested in is looking at bottom of the pyramid business models across sectors, including ones of sectors in pack of interest to your, around you know, energy and others, and trying to do three things. One is get commitments of uh, companies that have been developing such uh, products and services as part of their core operations would service the poor, whether as entrepreneurs or um, you know, suppliers or uh, as consumers. And in that process, get them to report on a yearly basis in terms of some of the results that come out of this work. And what, what is fascinating is that what we're seeing increasingly is while we see a number of initiatives across the world where um, you know leading companies, large corporates, or SMEs are develop developing such business models, the lack of uh, of an enabling ecosystem um, at a country level is becoming a big barrier. Um, there is not enough incentives that drive, um, for example, the adoption of certain type of green practices. Um, there's also not the appropriate policy <coughs> sort of incentives that are there. For example, in Kenya, we have about 16 to 70 energy companies. Because of the reduction of prices of the solar inputs from China, you've seen the development of a whole marketplace of a thriving sort of bottom and pyramid marketplace um, providing goods and services. But right now, there's a whole set of issues around um, for example, import duties, um, lack of incentives that, that have come up. So <clears throat> what we would like to <clears throat> very much see in this context is how we can um, work together to be able to um, bring these sort of perspectives in your agenda and have much more targeted sort of discussions around it.